The holiness of this shrine requires you to enter decently dressed and to behave modestly. Therefore, we ask you not to come into shrine wearing too short clothes. I think they mean me. And so this is just a uh, spot that I saw along the road while I was motorbiking past and stopped to take a look and to make an intro to this video. So I'm not going to uh, go in there, but uh, it is a shrine to the Mother Mary. And apparently this was a basically a gated entrance into Makarska centuries, millennia ago. This was like the grand kind of entrance or whatever, this spot here. So uh, a bit of history. I have the motorbike here. What you saw there at the beginning was a hike to Nugal Beach that I did yesterday evening. It's about a mile walk, so like 30 minutes or so. And as you saw, a very uh, beautiful beach. Definitely recommend it. That was the town of Makarska at the center of the Makarska Riviera here, the largest town, and then various smaller towns and beaches go north and south. So right now I am north of the uh, town of Makarska and I'm going up to Brella. So here's the uh, motorbike. It was 160 kuna for six hours, so a decent deal there. And so going to hop on this thing, keep on cruising north, is about a 15 minute drive or so up to Brella from here. Makarska, the town, is just five minutes or so south here. And then there are more beaches and villages on the other side of Makarska going further south. So there's a lot to see packed into a relatively small area here. So looking forward to exploring more of the incredible Makarska Riviera. Here we go. And so I'm now in Brella, which is famous for being where Punta Rata is, which is considered to be one of the most beautiful beaches in Croatia. Judging by all the cars around here, it is also going to be popular. Let's see how crowded it is. Apparently there is a hike along the coast going up this way in which maybe I can get away from some of the crowds. So let's check it out. It is looking pretty crazy around here. And so apparently this is the point of Punta Rata, out here. And I think I'll keep on cruising that way and see if I can find a little bit quieter spot. There we go, the coast of Croatia going north. And then I guess that is Brach Island, I think. And Havar. Quite a uh, stunning theme. So here's a map of the area. You are here. I parked right around here somewhere and you can see all of these different beaches going for a long ways up the coast there. Well, nothing too exciting to see down there. I'm just going to uh, take a fairly quick swim here and then get back to the motorbike and go see more of the Makarska Riviera.
And this is Bashka Voda. Another busy spot. And as you can see, some rain clouds happening. So I'm going to keep on cruising uh, south along the coast, go to the other side of Makarska, and see what's happening there. And this is Tuchepe, a nice bay here with a beach that goes all along it. And out there at the end of that point is where I started the video, Nugal Beach, but I hiked from the other side this way. And these are the Biakovo Mountains. There's something that people had highly recommended, which is a skywalk up on the top of the mountain there, in which I'm sure that you have just absolutely epic views. You have to drive up there. It is about a 40 minute drive, and I'm not going to do it because for one thing, the scooter that I have is 50cc and it is a just, you know, snail. And going up that mountain would be a real pain. It would take more than 40 minutes, I'm sure. And also with the weather, it's a little iffy getting up there and then, you know, maybe it rains on me or something. But uh, that is something you might want to consider doing is getting up on top of the mountains here and seeing the views. And I'm sure that there are hikes around there and seeing that spectacular skywalk. Here's the nice harbor of Tuchepi. And on the other side is another nice beach. Bratch Island, Havar Island, there is Makarska, and Tuchepi. And next I'll go to Podgora. And this is Podgora. Looks very nice. A nice beach here. You can see puddles of water. I guess it was raining here earlier. But I saw another uh, beach from the road around the corner over here that looked really spectacular. So we're going to head down there and check it out. It was kind of away from the uh, town and the restaurants and everything. All right, I'm going to try to uh, one-hand it and dry while filming. Let's see how this goes. And I think this was the beach that I was seeing from up on the road there, but uh, the road keeps on going here. The main highway was up there, and so let's uh, poke around the corner and see what there is. Welcome to Podgora. So it's funny, I saw this on the main highway here and didn't realize that uh, this road keeps on going right down to the beach there and with a motorbike you could actually squeeze through a little uh, spot right over there and get on it but uh, hello sir how are you ciao salud salud, salud, salud. salud. Yes. Uh, USA America oh, yeah, oh, America uh, go, go. thank you thank you yes, have a nice day Beauchamp okay that guy looks like a fisherman All right, back down to the beach. Well, I have to say, I think this is my favorite spot that I've seen today. A really lovely beach and not as crazy crowded as the other ones. 